The opinions and views expressed in political talk belong to its commentators and are not those of Nextar Broadcasting Incorporated, this station, or their affiliates or employees. Welcome to this edition of Political Talk with uh, Dora Leland and Tom Santoli. The nation's economy is still reeling from the coronavirus pandemic. New York State alone facing a $30 billion budget deficit over the next two years without any federal aid. And this has a direct impact on our local schools. As Governor Cuomo has stated, plans to withhold as much as 20% in state funding to schools. Dora, what does this mean for you? You're a teacher. Yeah, this this means more pain. This this is not good. Uh, that that thirty billion dollar deficit meant three hundred million already withheld from schools. The good news is that Budget Director uh, Robert Mujica told uh, told the press yesterday that the state will not be uh, withholding future payments. That they the st school districts can expect their foundation aid and other other school aid, um, but that doesn't mean it's over. Uh, Cuomo has threatened a 20% permanent across the board cut to schools, hospitals, um, and local governments. Mm -hmm. uh, I understand that, you know, we're facing a $30 billion deficit in New York State. I think there are things that can be done. I think the federal government needs to step in mm -hmm. and help and do something. I think Congress needs to get their act together. I think the Senate needs to meet. The legislature basically handing the governor total control of the budget is a clear violation of separation of uh, powers in our constitution. I am distraught. Uh, we are in the most challenging times that I have ever faced as an educator. Uh, if anything, we are in dire need of funds right now. I think our students deserve better. I know our families deserve better. We need to start funding it like we value it. Yeah, Tom, you're involved as the president of a school board, a local school board, and for a private school. Uh, education, uh, that's something that we really shouldn't be cutting. We should actually be giving more to, right? Yeah, you know, the problem is, uh, is to me, is always, it's politics. You know, uh, unfortunately that these things happen during the course of a presidential election, and somebody would say, well, what's that have to do with it? Well, it has everything to do with it, because we're talking about states coming together looking for aid from the federal government uh, there's there's been money in the past uh congress can't sit down and work through this the democrats and the republicans are at loggerheads about about more money for local governments and schools and but what happens is a lot of people get hurt during this time i mean for schools 20 percent is a huge number and the budget director for the state says, well, we haven't even begun to make, make those type of cuts. But if you're running a school district, uh, statewide, all the school districts, you need to know, I mean, the school has started. This isn't getting ready for something that's going to happen a year from now. Mm -hmm. We're, they're in session. Uh, any cuts, how do, you, how do you do it? Schools need to know how much money they have. We need to know where we're going with COVID-19. All these things are issues that people have a right to know what's going on. Thank you both for your comments today, especially on this pressing issue for the latest edition of Political Talk and our election coverage from your local election headquarters. Log on to our website, mytwintiers.com. We'll be right back.